Where's the bomb? Oh, oh I, I always went for the intellectual type. Never knew what I was missing. <laughs> and that's just my arm. In my book, attempted murder is important. Rocky wouldn't be snarled. He's got enough trouble being short. Go after him! And this is what happens. I'll find out what's going on. There was nobody driving. No I think you just saved my life. If you were Chinese, I'd be indebted to you forever. Oh, yeah? Well, I eat Chinese food once a week. What does that do for me? Excuse me. went for the intellectual type. Never knew what I was missing. <laughs> and that's just my arm. You're safe. I hope I didn't hurt you. I think I'd prefer the truck hitting me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks. You are very welcome. The crisis is over. Well, looks like it was an accident. No one was in the parking area. Wrong. Rocky, don't go doing anything crazy. Whoa, wait a minute. Get your hands off me. Didn't I just see you leave the parking area? Who are you, little man? Rocky Nelson, Beverly Hills Patrol. We're working security on this picture. I just want to know what you were doing over there. And I don't need the short jokes either, pal. First of all, I wasn't in the parking area. 
Second of all, I don't wish to speak with you, Pee-wee. Oh, really? Would you quit hassling people on the lot? Donald, that's the guy who started the truck. Who is he? You're such a great detective, you think he started the truck? You tell me who he is. I don't know who he is, but I know he's a doctor. Yeah, well, you've seen him before. Oh, he is a doctor, huh? I'll bet he's a surgeon, too. How do you know that? That's amazing. Come on, come on, come on. How'd you figure that out? Hey, you gotta teach me that trick. I found this in the truck. It was used to tie down the gas pedal. It broke on impact, but the knot held. Pretty strong knots. They should be. They're sutured knots. They use them in surgery. If one of those come apart after an operation, your insides could spill out all over your suit. Come on, Donald. What's his name? Gaines. Dr. Jonathan Gaines. And what's he doing on the lot? I don't know. Somebody from the company called and let him on. If you think it's important, I'll find out who. What do you mean if I think it's important? In my book, attempted murder is important. <sighs> Rocky, Dr. Jonathan Gaines is one of Beverly Hills' leading plastic surgeons. I'm telling you, the guy was near the truck. You were hired to protect the set, that's all. So I guess I didn't do a great job then. Accidents do happen, but don't go off on a paranoid search for an imaginary killer. What imaginary killer? I'm talking about real people being in real danger. Maybe gut feelings work on the streets of New York, but here in Beverly Hills, you need evidence. Well, don't worry about it, because I'll get it. Hi, Lieutenant. Hi, guys. Can I have a word with Annie? Yeah. Go right ahead, yeah. Alone? Am I in some kind of trouble, Lieutenant? Call me Clarence. Am I in some kind of trouble, Clarence? No. I don't know exactly how to say this. Say what? Well, where I come from, when a fellow asks a young lady for a date, are you asking me for a date? Well, uh, yeah, I, I suppose I am. Oh. <laughs> Don't shoot Hamill. I give up. I give up. Clarence isn't here for you, Rocky. He came here to ask me out. You did? Really? That's, um... Well, that's nice. That's uh, really nice. As nice as can be. Rocky is being snide. Rocky wouldn't be snide. He's got enough trouble being short. Hi. I'd like to see Dr. Gaines. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. I just want to talk to him about one of his patients. I'm sorry. You'll need an appointment to see the doctor. But I just want to ask him a couple questions. Sorry. Just a few questions. I want to ask him if this time he could get her nose on right. It's disgusting. Oh, you, you won't believe what a mess. I mean, her nose is all over her face. Oh. Sometimes when she breathes, it looks like she's breathing on the side of her cheek. Oh, and when she sneezes, oh, you got to see that. Oh, I don't, I mean, it's terrible. I can't even tell you about it. Oh. Now, Mrs. What happened? The dentist downstairs is having a sale on caps. I guess I'm next. What are you doing here? The nurse sent me in. You haven't got an appointment. I know. You want plastic surgery? Me? No. I'd never fool perfection. Besides, I figure God knows what he's doing. Oh, you sick? Hate to disappoint you. It's only a dental appointment. Oh. I'm calling the police to have you taken out of here. Wait a minute. Why are you waiting for the dial tone? Maybe you can answer one question for me. One question. What were you doing at the studio? Watching them make movies. I'm a film buff. No kidding, me too. Who called security to let you in? One question, one answer. Now I'm calling the police. I found this in the truck. What is that? You don't know what that is? Which one of those girls were you after? All right, that's it. Now I'm calling the police. No, you're not. You've been saying that since I got here. You didn't punch one number yet. And you know why? You don't want the cops around. Hey, Rocky, this fettuccine Alfredo is very good. Yeah, I gotta call this guy Alfredo and check out his recipe. Come on, Rocky. I can't stand the suspense. Why'd you invite us for lunch? Why does there have to be a reason? 
I mean, you're all my friends. I thought we'd spend a pleasant afternoon together. It's been pleasant up until now. But you're running out of food. Rocky, now, we all know you too well. There's got to be a reason for you buttering us up. For something. Thanks for reminding me. All right, I want to try to find out if April, Cheryl, or Jackie ever had any plastic surgery. How are you going to do that? We're going to do that by taking the girls out for dinner. What makes you think these gorgeous women are going to go out with us? Because nobody would refuse a dinner invitation at Le Grand Wee. We can't get reservations at the Le Grand Wee. It's a private club. Well, I happen to know one of the members. It's sort of like a matter of life and death, you understand. All right. The three of you here are going to be my guests. I didn't want to stay a member of that club anyway. It's the only way we're going to tie one of those girls into the doctor. Let's say we want to see if somebody had a facelift, right? We have to look for scars and back of the earlobes. How are we going to check that out? Use your imagination. This could be an interesting evening. That thigh skin graph you're talking about? How are we going to get a chance to look behind their knees? If it's simple. Watch me, I'll show you how it'll be done. It works every time. Here, sit down. All right. Okay. We're having dinner. Drop the napkin. Oops! I lost my contact lens. I gotta look for it. Let me help you. Nope. It's okay. You enjoy your meal. See, no problem. Hey, Chester, how you doing? I think a better question, Rocky, is what are you doing? He's showing us how to look for scars. Yeah. Okay, let's pick up our dates and find some scars. such beautiful ears. something wrong? Huh? Oh, no, it's just a new step. It's called Bob and for Apple. Bob, Bob, Bob. Yeah, you got it, see? Uh, what is it with you? You got an ear fetish? No, my hearing's fine. Really great earrings. Family heirloom. No kidding. Mind if I take a closer look? I think she really likes you. <laughs> What's the matter with Rock? He hasn't said a thing about losing his contact limb. Maybe he's waiting for the right time. When? We're almost done. Ah, then I'll do it. Oh, no! I lost my contact lens. That's funny, so did I. I'll get mine first. Uh, it'll only take me a minute. They're all guilty. What do you mean? They're all wearing colored stockings to hide their scars. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> trying to see which one of you had plastic surgery scars. I thought we were going out to have a good time. How dare you? Hey, nobody wanted to tell me anything. How am I supposed to know which one of you knew Dr. Gaines? You lied to me. So what? We're even. What are you talking about? I spotted the scar behind your ear. Big deal. If your friends get to know Jackie and Cheryl better, they'll find scars too. What are you trying to say? That every beautiful actress in Hollywood had plastic surgery? No, but a lot of them did. Oh, Rocky, just take me home now. All right. But that guy's looking to kill one of you. You're jumping to conclusions. I'm trying to tell you that that truck accident was an attempted murder. And I'm trying to tell you that Dr. Gaines is not the only plastic surgeon in this town. I don't even know him. Neither do Jack or Cheryl.
Rocky, how long do we have to stake out April's apartment? Until that doctor shows up, I know he's out to kill April. For some reason or another, I know she's lying to me. Beverly Hills Police Department. Four out of 14, leaving top seat on the 1200 block of Alpine Road between Beverly and Camden. It's around the corner. Here we go. This doctor we've been looking out for, do you think he'll take a look at my back? He's not that kind of a doctor. He's a plastic surgeon. do you think you're doing? This isn't Times Square, and I'm not going to let you make a shambles out of Beverly Hills. I was chasing Gaines. He was trying to kill one of those girls again. How do you know it was him? Did you see his face? Could you make a positive ID, Rocky? Come on, I know what Gaines looks like. You mean you feel like it was Dr. Gaines. Where do you feel it, Rocky? In your heart? In your gut? I got a better question for you. What were you doing back there besides trespassing? What is that, a joke? You know what I was doing? I was at a stakeout. Oh, when did you join the Beverly Hills Police Department? <laughs> Civilians do not make stakeouts. You should know by now that we go by the book. You know what you could do with your book? The same thing you can do with your job. I radioed Chester while I was chasing you, and he's not very happy with what's going on. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Those girls' lives are in danger. The only thing that's in danger is your license. And if you bother Dr. Gaines one more time, I'm going to pull your ticket. Now, let me get this straight, Rocky. This dentist is one floor below your Dr. Gaines. Right. I'll explain why we have to get rid of him. No, no. Just hand me the phone. He's calling me? Well, of course. Put him on. Hi, George. Dean Martin here. <laughs> yes, I know. <clears throat> Uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Martin? Uh, 
Dean. Well, uh, Frank, Sammy, and I, we feel like going 18 holes, and we need you to fill out our foursome. Me? You need me? Yeah, well, I, I've seen you around the club. Uh, I know your game, and I think you could fit in. So if you want to hang around with us, have some laughs. Fit right in. With you and, and Frankie? And Sammy. Why don't you get down here at the clubhouse in about two hours? Two hours? Two hours it is. We'll be waiting for you. Well, that's half the problem. Well, what's the other half? Getting Frank and Sammy. Miss Owens, cancel all my appointments for the rest of the day. I am going to play golf with the Rat Pack. Scooby Dooby Doo. Don't worry, Doc. We'll take care of everything. You have a good time. Hi. We just bumped into George in the hallway. Boy, is he lucky. I told him we'd cover for him today. <laughs> this is uh, Dr. DeRoy. He'll be covering all his patients today. And uh, this is Dr. Krebs. He's an exchange student from Jamaica. Dale. So, um, who's the first appointment? Uh, Dr. Jonathan Gaines. Uh-huh. Okay, you buzz us as soon as he gets here. Thank you. My mom always wanted me to be a dentist. This is my big chance. Don't go messing around with any teeth now or anything. Just keep him in a chair and stall him long enough till we get back. All right. Dr. Gaines is here. Just a second. Send him in. Oh, where's Dr. Lawrence? Oh, he had a pressing engagement. Have a seat. My name's DeRoy, DDS. That's short for dentist. Ruff, I got a problem. If you got a problem, I got a problem. What is it? I'm scared. You mean you got vertigo? No. I'm afraid of heights. Are you sure you're an associate of Dr. Lawrence? Never question a man who can make the Grand Canyon out of your molders. Just a little dental humor. Did Miss Sanders before? April Gray Hefter. Wow. Now open up. Uh. Oh boy, you got a little mouth. Rocket, is that you? What we expected. Be cool, man. Go easy on my shoulders. Look, I just want to get out of here. Hey, take it easy, man. I never lost a patient before. I found out just what I wanted to. You guys really did a good job. Thanks a lot. And now you're my driver, too. Hey, it's all part of my job. To protect you, in spite of yourself. It's a long way from the studio out here. I can't take any chances. take the rest of the company a while to get here for the night shooting. I know that. I just thought maybe we could use the time to talk a little. About what? About what the hell is going on. Oh, calm down, Rocky. I lied because I didn't want Dr. Gaines to be hassled. That's all. He's been through enough. 
he's been through enough. Maybe you should run that by me one more time. <sighs> After Jonathan completed his work on me, we... Well, we started going together, and eventually we broke up. He took it very hard. Hard enough to try to get even? No, not Jonathan. He's not the type. Hey, killers come in all shapes and sizes. What's that? Convinced? Or you think that was an accident too? Half Nelson will be back in a moment. So, um, that was you, Edna Sanders. <laughs> Just like the song says, "Little Girl from Little Rock." Cleveland, actually. Oh, I get the picture. Worked in the Five and Dimes, saved every penny ever made. Come to Hollywood, become a big star, get me done. Close. I worked in a shoe store. I didn't pay for the surgery. But the rest of it is right. You mean the great Dr. Pygmalion did it for love? I started dating him after the surgery. Farley Holmes paid for it. No kidding. You really found your way around this town fast, huh? Oh, no. Farley and I grew up together. He was my high school sweetheart. He came here first, made a name for himself in special effects, and then went on to directing. So you're just good friends? Now we are. Would you mind if I talk to him? Why? I thought you said you suspected Dr. Gaines. Well, I do, but I like to keep all my options open. <sighs> Don't you ever give up? Yeah, once. When I was 22, I gave up trying to be taller. Oh, man, that was great. Last scene of the movie. <laughs> yeah, I know the script. That's where the mad bomber blows up the building in April and everything. That ought to keep them in their seats. <laughs> Interested in my box office, huh? Yes, sir, I sure am. Listen, um, <clears throat> maybe you could help me with April. She told me uh, you and her were old friends. What's the problem, Rocky? I think somebody's trying to kill her. What's been happening on the set? They weren't accidents? I don't think so. It's that plastic surgeon, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Some ladies fall in love with their therapists, others with their divorce lawyers. April picks her plastic surgeon. Lucky it turns out to be a wacko, huh? Well, if that's what you call being over-possessive and uh, overreacting to rejection, yeah, I guess he's a wacko. Well, what can I do to help? Well, until I get enough evidence to nail Dr. Gaines, I'd like you to keep an eye on April. Is there anything I can do to help you get Dr. Gaines? Nah. As long as I know April's okay, I think I can handle it with Doctor. It's funny, isn't it? What's that? Big time Beverly Hills plastic surgeon like Dr. Gaines. Trying to destroy his perfect creation. Well, that shouldn't surprise you. As a special effects expert, you know anything's possible, right? Wait, wait. Annie, maybe you didn't give yourself enough time to think about it. Okay, okay. I'll take that no to mean maybe, and I'll talk to you later. Why won't she go out with me? I better not, not when I need a favor. Does it have anything to do with the Dr. Gaines? It's amazing how you read my mind. Rocky, you're living in a dream world. Who else would want to take on a doctor and possibly the entire Beverly Hills Medical Association? Gaines is a jealous cuckoo clock. If he can't have April, he wants to kill us, nobody else can. 
I wouldn't try to get an indictment on that. Neither would I. That's why I'm going to set him up so he nails himself. Careful, Rocky. There's laws against citizens doing something like that. I know, and that's why I need your help. What, have you gone off the deep end? Why would I want to help you do something that's possibly entrapment and definitely questionable? You got an itch to take out Annie, don't you? Scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. All it takes is one little stakeout. And it's kind of legal. This is Dr. Gaines. Jonathan, it's April. April? I finally realized what you're trying to do. And I'm warning you, I'm going to the police. What are you talking about, April? Oh, come off it, Jonathan. The truck, the fire, it was all you. April, you're wrong. And I think we should talk about it. Where are you? Jonathan, please, just stay away from me. I'm so upset. If it weren't for Rocky... Nelson? Are you with him? I'm going to meet him now at Perry's in Westwood. Oh, April, remember how we used to ride in one of those pedicabs there? Yes, but this time it's going to be with a different partner. April, listen to me. Stay away from me. I'll get the cars moved. Hey, look, Ben, we got all these extras here. They're going on mill penalty. What are we going to do? I need a decision right now, pal. Come on. Gee, Rocky, do I really look like April? The wig does miracles for you. Hey, Annie, I'm really proud of you, you know? You're pretty brave to do this. Don't be silly, Rocky. This is exciting. Well, I don't want you to worry. We're going to do everything we can so you'll be okay. Well, if this works out, then Chester will let me go out and do more real stuff. I don't think it's a good idea for you to be in danger like this. Rocky, would you please tell the driver to keep his eyes on the road? Annie, I'm just looking out for your safety. Keep your eyes and your legs moving. You're not going to get a tip. <laughs> things are great. Cuts down on the smog and pollution. You're right. They don't even have an exhaust pipe. Holy! Watch out! Hey, Doc, don't look so sad. You can continue your career in the joint. There's a lot of ugly mugs you can make pretty there. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Should you give up that right to remain silent? trying to kill April. Yeah, but who killed Gaines now? A good question. Well, it had to be somebody who knew Gaines was coming here to try to kill April. Okay, you talked to April. She called Gaines. Who else could have known? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Look, Rocky, after everything that happened, I don't want to order you off this case, but remember, please, and try not to step on anybody's toes. What, do you think I'm stupid? I know I'm in Beverly Hills. If I step on anybody's toes around here, I could ruin a $50 pedicure. Wanna live, Rocky? Yeah, I'm finished here. No, you're not. Remember what you promised, Rocky? What? Annie. Come on, Annie, huh? Underneath that layer of snobbery, chauvinism, and narrow-mindedness, Hamill's probably a nice guy. He's a jerk. Hey, you know what they say, you can't always tell a book by its cover. That's not true. Dictionary looks like a dictionary. A Bible looks like a Bible. A cookbook looks like a cookbook. And Hamill looks like a cop. Yeah. Well, there's all kinds of cookbooks and there's all kinds of cops. I mean, look at me. I used to be a cop. 
I'm nothing like Hamill. I can tell. You don't want to be like him either, do you? That's not totally true. I mean, he's got some good qualities that I admire. He does? Yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is go out with him once. This way you know for sure if he's a dud or not. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Of course I am. Okay. We want to talk to you. What's up? We heard you. How could you lie to Annie like that? What are you talking about? I didn't lie to her. You said Hamill had some qualities you admire. He does. I can think of one right off the bat. His height. Yeah, right. So are you going over to April's to relieve Don or what? No, Don's doing the whole shift. You know he likes those extra overtime hours. Well, I'm going to catch me some sack time. I want to be up early so I can see them shoot the finale of the picture. Oh, yeah, you mean when they blow up the building? And April. Only they're not really going to blow her up. They substitute a dummy. You can't be too smart if you're going to be in a building that's going to be blown up. Ready? Yeah. Don. <clears throat> Could you excuse us just for one minute? Sure. I heard about Dr. Gaines. Don't worry, Farley. I don't have any lines to learn for tomorrow. No, no, that, that's not why I'm here. I want to talk about us. I thought that was ancient history. In Hollywood, everyone has a shot at a comeback, huh? You're serious, aren't you? Of course I am. I'm still in love with you. Now that Gaines is not around... How could you? The man was just killed. Did you forget he was trying to murder you? Come on, April, forget about him. Let's get back to us. Remember the way it was. I'm sorry, Farley, but a one-sided relationship just isn't going to work. Uh, maybe. Give it time. No. The answer is still no. Now, let's not go through this again, okay? Let's just try to be friends. You can't blame a guy for trying. Don! tie the gag on. Yeah. Look around. Set the time on the fake bomb. Then get out, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, scene 167. Take one. And action. Set up exterior for explosion. George, just get that dummy ready. Let's go down. Dummy coming in. Uh, George. George, I'll take it. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. into the sunset together, fade out. You changed everything. You changed the ending when you walked out on me. The bomb's real, sweetheart. What a tragedy up here to untie you. 
We're glad you could make it for the final scene. Where is she? I wanted to ask her if anybody heard her make that call when she set up games. Yeah, well, I heard her. A lot of people around. It's the trouble with these sets. Everybody's always around. You're used to seeing them all the time and you never notice anybody. Who'd you see? Well, there was uh, a couple of grips, uh, makeup, Farley Holmes, two stand-ins. Was Farley Holmes close enough to hear her? Sure, yeah, I heard her. He could hear her. Cut. Are you crazy? All right, where the hell's April? I've got a detonator running on a timer. You can't stop the cameras now. Well, that's too bad, because I already did. And they're not going to roll again until I see her with my own eyes. Where is she? Get this little maniac off my set! Whoa, Kurt. Okay, I... Hey, wait a minute. Let me go. Let... Hey. Oh. Hey, come on. I don't think Rocky would want Farley to leave. The crane! You, get off! What are you doing? Get off. Stop him! Hurry up! Get it out of here! Hurry up! Faster! Get away from the people! Faster! Faster! Hurry! drop in on you unexpected like this. You. Why, Farley? Could you tell me why? Why? Well, don't you know who I am? Farley Holmes. I direct motion pictures. I make movie stars. I made April Grey. I told Gaines exactly what I wanted. He delivered. And he stole your girl. He paid for it with his life, didn't he? What about April? Couldn't you take the rejection? Was it that hard? Nobody rejects Farley Holmes. And now? Now I'm going to tear you apart. Sorry, pal. It's not part of my scenario. In here, fellas. That's it, Farley. Cut, print, it's a wrap. Still looking for surgical scars? No, but now I feel like uh, I'm kind of an expert on ears. And in my considered opinion, yours are pretty cute. <laughs> You're a pretty good dancer. You ever think of doing it professionally? Yeah, I did. Until I saw Gene Kelly do that singing in the rain number. <laughs> that was wonderful. So why did you give up dancing after seeing that? Oh, I catch cold too easy. April, come on, it's over. Jonathan's dead. Farley's life is ruined, all because of that. Oh, what? It's not your fault that they went nuts just because you wanted to end a relationship. Maybe 
was all a mistake, Hollywood, plastic surgery. I never know if a guy is really in love with me or with what April Gray looks like. Take my word for it. Someday some guy's gonna come along and fall in love with Edmund Sanders, and you'll know it. You know, getting together like this, I think we owe it all to Rocky. To Rocky. To Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Our little matchmaker. I'll drink to that. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hey, hey. You all carry on. Clarence and I are just leaving. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're down.